Welcome to the Stavros Niarchos Foundation Library, the most important civic infrastructure project in New York in recent memory. This crown jewel is our biggest physical project in the history of the library for 126 years, a $200 million complete renovation producing this amazing result. The crown jewel of the largest public library branch system in the country and the most visited civic institution in New York. This building has dedicated spaces for the adult education center, for the business library, spaces for, for children, for teenagers, and, and also event spaces. It's all about providing access not only to education, not only to learning, but also to a free public space where people can actually come together and engage, especially after this, after this pandemic. This building has stood the test of time for over 100 years. It was built in 1915 as the Arnold Constable Department Store. And it lived that life until about 1960 when the library bought it and then eventually opened up the Mid-Manhattan Library in the 70s. Um, this building has not seen a renovation since 1978, that's over 40 years. We wanted to make sure that the life that we gave to SNFL was going to last that long, if not longer. This is a durable and a forever renovation and it was designed with that in mind. We took the bones of that building, filled the building with light, created a long room to showcase all the books of the library, with a beautiful artwork on the ceiling. We made long tables to reflect the research library across the street, across Fifth Avenue. And uh, on top of the building, we put a unique volume, what I call the wizard head, surrounded by a free public terrace. My dream is that I hope that all New Yorkers will love it. We all see and love the two lions patience and fortitude, and we are happy to have them here, even though they're just on the, on the window. But the vision and the mission is the same. It's two things that we really need now, again, as we're coming out of this awful pandemic. And New York can always be very proud of showing both patience and fortitude. This is not the opening when we planned it, nor is this the world that we expected to open this facility in but this couldn't be a more fitting time. Just when this city is entering its resurgence, its recovery, just when the citizenry hungers to learn, to rebuild, and to rethink, welcome 